Hello and welcome to the next part of the JFROG How To's. My name is Finn and I will explain you in this tutorial how to connect with your IDE plugin inside IntelliJ to your X-Ray instance and how you can use all this functionality straight away after adding the first dependency. So if this is the right one for you, stay tuned. Okay, now we have a short view to the X-Ray IDE plugin. I just added in my Pullman dependency, so this is a volume version, it's a little bit older one, so that we can guarantee see some compliance issues. So what you have, you will have in the IDE plugin here some, some kind of window. I'm using IntelliJ, so it could look a little bit different on Eclipse or whatever. Then you will see the dependency uh, we added here already, here this uh, 4120, 4120, and then you have the whole dependency tree, and you see there is a security issue with Jackson data binding. You, what you get is uh, uh, ranking, it is a high, medium, or low uh, security risk. Risk. Uh, you will see the uh, license information, what type, version, and so on. The good thing is you can see here all detailed information. For example, if there is already a fixed version available and what uh, time is um, summary of the issue itself. One cool thing is if you are somewhere, then you can just go here and say show in project descriptor then you're jumping here back to, to this one. And the good thing is if you decide to exclude, you can just go here and say exclude dependency. What you will get is dependency exclusion. That's it. The only thing I want to show you is how to install it. So in IntelliJ it's quite easy. You're going to the plugin, you're searching for JFrog plugin, updating it or just uh, installing it. Uh, in IntelliJ you have to do a restart, in Eclipse could be different. And then the only thing you have to do is you're going to the settings of this X-Ray plugin, adding your coordinates and then you can just connect your IntelliJ to the X-Ray installation. That's it, have fun.